Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, this is Muhammad Tarif Hassan, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to scan multiple pages and keep them into one PDF by Epson L3110 scanner or printer machine. You guys are already thinking that why I am re-uploading this video again, because I have uploaded this video about two or three months ago based on how to scan multiple pages in one PDF by Epson L3110 scanner machine. So why I'm re-uploading this again? You're right, I uploaded this video about some days ago. But the problem of that video was I spoken in Bengali language. And fortunately that video got a little bit viral and most of the viewers of that video were from other countries like India, Japan, Pakistan, Philippines, uh, Cambodia, Saudi Arabia, etc. So normally they will not understand my Bengali language. That's why they skipped my video uh, just watching about one and two minutes. That's why I decided to make this video so that all of my foreign viewers can easily understand this. And in this video, I will try to explain in details and easily in English so that all of my viewers can easily understand it. And uh, if you have any question and if you don't understand uh, how to scan multiple pages and keep them into one PDF, and you can comment me and I will try to explain in more details in my next video. And one request, please uh, watch my full video. If you just skip my video watching about 2 or 3 minutes, you can understand it. Please try to watch my full videos and I hope you will understand it. So now I am going to show you how to scan multiple pages and keep them into one PDF by Epson L3110 scanner or printer machine. So I am starting, so let's get started. So dear viewers, this is my Epson L3110 scanner and printer machine. By using this machine, you can easily scan any pages. So first of all, I will introduce with you all the buttons of this machine. So this is the power button. By pressing this button, you can on and off. This button is for black and white photocopy. And this button is for color photocopy. This button is for stop. If you want to stop any command, so press it. This is the plug of this machine. First of all, we have to plug in to connect with the electricity. Now we have to press the power button. Then we will connect the USB cable with our computer. Now to scan any file, you should have this Epson Scan2 software. And if you don't have, you have to download it. But uh, if you don't get it, no problem, I have given the Epson Scan2 software download link on my video description box. But it is Epson L3110 scanner model and uh, you have to download Epson Scan2 software according to your scanner model name. You have to download Epson Scan2 this software according to your model name. Otherwise it won't be connected with your scanner machine. So obviously make sure that your model name and uh, the Epson Scan2 software model name is same. Otherwise it won't be run. If you have this Epson L3110 scanner machine, so you can easily download it from my video description box. And uh, if you, if your model is different, you can download it from uh, Google. So search uh, Epson Scan2 according to your model name. You can easily get it. Uh, so first of all, you have to open this Epson Scan2 software to connect uh, the scanner machine to your PC. So first of all, you have to open it uh, and then you can get it. Now you will get these suggestions. From here, you can change the scan setting. Like you can set the default setting and I will uh, set the default setting. And obviously make sure that you have this document mode because we want to scan multiple pages. Then we have to keep the default setting. And obviously, uh, if, you want to mul if you want to scan multiple pages and like PDF, Obviously, you have to choose the document mode and if you want to scan a photo, so you can choose the photo mode. But we want to scan multiple pages, so you have to choose the document mode. Then from here, you can change the document size according to your need. Here, we are setting the A4 size. Here, we can choose the image type and we are setting the color. Here, we have the resolution setting. From here, you can change the resolutions and you can change yeah, you can set resolution according to need, but I will keep the default uh, resolution and uh, you can rotate it from here uh, from here you can rotate it obviously make sure that add or edit page after scanning obviously you make sure that heritage check mark on this 
if you want multiple pages obviously you should have check mark on this otherwise you will not get the add or edit option after scanning the first one that means if you scan one page it will be automatically saved you won't get the multiple scan option after first scan is done so obviously make sure that it is check mark so you have to check mark on this and if you don't check mark on this you can scan multiple pages to scan multiple pages obviously you have to check mark on this then you will get the multiple scan options so this is very important for you always remember so always you have to check mark on this so many of my friends are commenting that they are not getting the multiple scan option when one page is scanned they can scan more pages so this is the problem they have made a mistake they didn't check mark on this that's why they couldn't scan multiple pages when one page is done so you guys will always check mark on this if you need one page or multiple pages obviously check mark on this you will get associations like add edit uh, save cancel so if you need one page you will just press on save if you need multiple pages so click on add or edit so this is very simple so this is very important for you always remember so always you have to check mark on this then you will get the image format like there are a lot of like bitmap jpeg png png pdf etc uh, if you want to scan photo or one page you can choose jpeg png etc but if you want to scan multiple pages obviously you have to choose the uh, pdf file otherwise it won't be happen so obviously if you want multiple pages you have to select the pdf image format otherwise you can scan multiple pages but if you need to scan one page then you have to select png or jpeg here it is our file name and here it is the file folder where the file will be stored from here you can choose it but i will keep the documents at first you have to input the first page and then close the scanner shutter so now you have to click on preview if you click on preview you can see the page positions the page we have input earlier so click on preview it will show you the page positions it is on the correct position or not here you can see that the page is on the reverse positions it is not the correct position so from here we have to change the rotation angle if we change the rotation angle the page so from here we can change angle if we change angle if you change uh, yes now it is on the right positions uh, you can set the correct positions by changing the rotation angle according to a need from here if you change the angle the page position will be changes always keep remember you will not press the scan before preview so after clicking on preview and uh, after make sure that the page is on the correct position or not then we'll click on scan now this page is on, on the correct positions so now we have to click scan so if you click on scan it will take a little bit time and after some time the first page will be scanned and it will show you your suggestions because we have click on the add or edit pages after scanning so it will suggest you that you want to scan multiple pages or not so keep patience it will take a little bit time so it is almost done You can see these suggestions here you can see that edit add save and cancel if you want to scan just one page so just click on save your scan will be completed and if you don't need just click on cancel but if you want to scan multiple pages you have to click on add or edit this is the same thing but but it will be better for us to click on edit because if we click on edit we can see our every pages positions and serially so but i will click on edit but if we click on add it will be the same thing so now after clicking on edit you can see these positions from here we can change the uh, page positions and the angles so now you have to click on add but for clicking on add you have to remove the first page and then you have to input the second page after inputting the second page you have to click on add otherwise the first page will be added here again so after removing the first page and after inputting the second page on the machine you have to click on add button 
Now we will import the second page. So we have put our second page on the machine. So now we will click on add. So now it will take a little bit time. After some time, uh, it will be added here. So it is almost done. So my dear friends, you can see that our second page is added here. So according to serially and this page position is totally perfect. And if you need, you can change it. Now we want to add more pages. So we have to remove the second page. Then we have to put the third page. Then we have to close the machine. Then we have to click on add. But if you click on add before moving the second page, the second page will be added here again. So always be careful of here. Now we are inputting the third page. So now we are clicking add after after putting the third page. So now it is scanning so it will take a little bit time. So here you can see that the page is added here. Yes, our third page is also added here serially. This is how you can scan so much easily it is really very easy process so there is uh, all our pages and if you need more pages you can easily add as i show but i don't need more pages so i am going to save it so just click on save but if you need more pages just click on add so now i am saving it so my dear viewers this is our three pages and these three pages are scanned successfully and they are in one pdf this is how you can scan as much page as you need. It is so easily. So my dear viewers, I hope you have understood that how to scan multiple pages and keep them into one PDF by Epson L3110 scanner machine. But one more thing, you have to practice it more and more because if you practice more and it will be really easier for you and you can easily understand it. So uh, I hope you have enjoyed my video. If my video is helpful for you, please like comment and share and if you are new on my channel please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you press the bell icon you will get our video at first that's all for today i will come to you again with an interesting topic till then stay safe stay healthy and pray for me and always remember love your country and try to do something for your country assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh